Welcome to this beautiful Sunday afternoon in October 2019. Although it's nice and sunny and mildish today, it is time to get ready for winter. There's lots of jobs to be getting on with over the next few months, and the main priority for me was getting the greenhouse ready. So in the last week, I have cleaned out the greenhouse, got rid of all the, the chilies and tomatoes, etc. Give everything a good wash down. And I've put up this bubble wrap, this double sided bubble wrap. I've used a little plastic greenhouse attachments for the main part. And then for the sides and the top, I've used crocodile clips to clip everything, and make it nice and taut and a good insulating layer. And I've got on with my cuttings because we had a very cold night down to frosty for a couple of nights up here. And just before the frost, I decided to take some cuttings. I went out at night and did a load of cuttings this week. And it's just bits and pieces of the Cillan Stormum, the Ericene, the Plectranthus, and also a few Amicia cuttings as well, seeing if they will take. So they're just in there. Most of them look to be okay, so they've been in there four or five days now. And this is kept nice and warm, so lots of bottom heat, lots of water. And I'll keep the lids on those. And the vents are shut. I've not put the heater on in the greenhouse yet, but I will do soon. Because the nights will start getting cooler as we head towards November. So that's what the greenhouse is looking like. As you can see, loads and loads of space, which will soon be filled up with all the plants that are planted out that need a bit of winter protection. Just thought I'd have a quick look at some of my hybrid Trachycarpus palms. And the first one we've got here, Trachycarpus nanus cross with fortuni. The leaves look very small and stiff like a, a waggy, but that's because this spear pulled last winter, so it's produced sort of smaller deformed leaves, but it's getting better. And it's proved itself to be hardy at this small size. And hopefully it will have the nanus form um, but with the growth speed of Fortuni when it gets bigger. And then we've got the opposite cross, we've got Fortuni crossed with Nanus, and they're still pretty small, I haven't got the adult leaves on those yet, so I'll have to wait for next year to see the adult leaves. Got a strange Gemini Sectus there with the curved leaves, kind of a bit strange for its second growth point. And over here we've got what were one leaf seedlings, I think just less than two years ago, and these are Trachycarpus wagnerinus crossed with princeps, so hopefully they'll have a bit of bluish to the leaves as they mature. Right, let's have a quick walk down the garden, see what's still looking good. And the first main bed, still really colourful with the Cillin Sturman, still got the dahlias flowering pretty well. The Spanish flag is pretty much finished now and I'll be collecting seed of these shortly for next year's plants. Amaranthus snuck in there and some more down the garden. Tree ferns are still producing new leaves, unaware that winter's on its way. And we've got the hardy Sheffler umbrella plant that's flowering at the moment. Ginger's still flowering, the fresh eye is still there. Something I've not shown you this year is the tree dahlias. Massive stems on these things. Really thick, like a broom handle. But it fell over when it's quite young, so it's got loads of stems. One, two, three, or four at the back there. So next year, hopefully, it'll have one big stem that will go right up high into the sky. I might have to stake it though. And pass more gingers. The selenium is fruiting. Hopefully, I'll be able to collect the seeds if they ripen in time before the frost come. A collocasia, absolutely huge now, that's like, look at my hand, I mean, that's like a metre long leaf, it's huge, that's mammoth. The cleome is still flowering well, but it's also producing lots and lots of seeds that I'll be collecting over the next few weeks for next year's plants. The big seven footer tree fern is still establishing. I will remove this stake next year because it's, it's getting pretty firm, but I want to give it a bit more time to really root into the ground. 
Romancia is still looking good, although I don't think we're going to get another flush of flowers before the cold comes. It will flower obviously inside if you keep it warm enough. And the Sheffala Macrophylla. Will it prove hard in this location? Hopefully. It's doing a new flush of leaves. So we'll see if these get frosted. Beautiful bronze furry fluff on that to mentonum. Beautiful plant that one, absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. The fuchsia Liviana that hasn't flowered for me. Got big leaves, probably needs a bit more sun. So we'll take cuttings and also relocate this plants for winter. Wonderful roughly edged colour cages here, this is burgundy stem. And looking back, we've got all the huge Onsetaniba bananas that we'll need digging up soon and we'll be dealing with them in a future video. Oh, one more plant I want to show you that you've probably not seen in my videos, I'm not really sure. We've been hiding away by the side of the bridge is Vesicularia by colour and look at that. Vivid electric blue flowers around that is uh, the leaves have gone bright pillar box red so that's absolutely stunning it does this every autumn hardy so far it likes really free draining soil or you can have it actually growing on on slopes or on in people have it in like guttering or on trachyapus or tree ferns as well it doesn't have much of a root system and it just does lots and lots of rosettes this rosette will die off, but lots of rosettes around it will carry on growing next year. Still got the odd water lily as well, which is nice to see. They've been going since May. We've also got the fruiting of the passion fruits here, which is nice. I won't do a full garden tour, because you've already seen that a couple of times this year. But that's here under Donat because it's the final height of that, which is well over three metres, four metres tall. Quick pot round, you can see in the background the Briar Mata. Stunning blue leaves on that, even though we've had loads and loads of rain, it's kept its gorgeous colour. And obviously in the middle, my favourite big palm, the Jubea chilensis, the Chilean wine palm. It's well taller than me now done about seven or eight leaves this year, pretty good, and each leaf is about two metres long. Still got some flowers around the garden, Gornia is still doing well, spider plants as well. That's a quick look about what's looking good still in the garden. Join me next week where I will be finishing off the greenhouse jobs. We're looking at what else we need to do in the garden, so it's just collecting seeds, so join me then.